Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Next Level with me, Dominique. So today guys, we're not going to do a quote. Um, again, like I've told you guys before, I get motivation for doing these videos from all sorts of different outlets. And I've gone to several different conferences for work um, this past year that have been so helpful um, in, in me learning the new position that I was in last year. And so one of the um, conferences I went to was given by a guy named Jeff Spencer. And he talked about something which was called a gutsy goal. And I was like all enthralled in what he was saying. It made so much sense. And it definitely gave me some motivation. So today hopefully it will help you guys. So I went to his website where he talked about this particular goal. And so he starts off with the definition, um, the Webster's definition of a goal, which states um, Webster's dictionary defines a goal as the object of a person's ambition or effort, an aim or a desired result. And if you think about it, you know, loosely, that's really what a goal is. It's what our aim or our desired result is, right? Um, but what comes into question is, well, that's such a broad spectrum. So someone's goal could ultimately be climbing Mount Everest, you know, like that's a goal. Or my goal could be that I want to sleep 10 more minutes in the morning, you know. And so because that's so, so broad, what he did was he broke it down into different categories of goals. But the one we're going to focus on today was the gutsy goal okay and so he was like you know I know that's a weird name and what do you think a gutsy goal is and all this and I'm just listening intently and so basically a gutsy goal is kind of along the lines of what we're always talking about um what we're going to do to reach our next level and so that gutsy goal is something that is just crazy it's like it will never happen are you crazy I don't even know why you would set your mind on something like that but you know, yes, I've, I've always said to make sure you have stair stepper goals to make sure you reach your end goal. And so I don't want you to confuse my gutsy goal with um, measurable goals that you can reach along the way. But this gutsy goal is something that you are reaching for way, way far out there. But if you set those standards high, if you set that goal high, if you set your goal to climb Mount Everest, then I can guarantee that you're going to uh, surpass, I'm sorry guys, it's my yard man, again. <laughs> but um, I guarantee you guys will surpass climbing up a little hill that may be in your neighborhood or in your city, you know what I mean? Like you may start with that and then you may go to another smaller mountain and then you may, you know, you're gonna get the equipment that it takes, you're gonna learn the breathing techniques it takes, you're gonna learn everything that goes along with climbing a mountain. And so even if, let's just say, even if you never get to Mount Everest, you're still gonna get way further than you, than you would have if you would have set your standards or your goals lower than that, right? And so the concept just really made sense to me. Um, and so I was like, well, shoot, like I love my YouTube channel, but hey, I'm going to have my own TV show one day. That's my gutsy goal. <laughs> so, you know, I went to this, um, I went to this conference. It was in, I want to say April. Um, and so right now we're in the summer months and I, I mean, it was then I was like, Dominique, like, what are you going to do with this YouTube channel? It has the potential to be great. You need to be consistent. You need to be persistent. What is it that I need to do to try to make this channel better than what it was? Because I think a lot of the reason for me that I didn't, I wasn't consistent with it. Um, time was a big one. I'm not going to lie. Time was a big one. Um, however, I just didn't feel like I had the necessary equipment. I felt like my YouTube videos weren't great like everyone else's YouTube videos. Um, you know, and the quality of the videos. And I don't know how to work this editing program. And I don't have this. I don't have that. So um, I have a really close, great friend, um, Marcus. I was like telling him about this camera that I want to buy and I'm going to invest and I'm going to get this camera because it's going to, you know, make my videos look more sharp, more polished. And he was like, I showed him the video, the picture of the camera. And he's like, wait, I have one like that. Don't go spend your money on that. I'll give you mine, you know? And so I have a new camera. 
great quality. I love it. Um, Amazon had their Amazon Prime Day recently and I ordered me lights. And so I've been on YouTube just watching um, different videos on how to make my videos better. And I really can say I love the quality of them. And then that gives me more motivation because I feel like my videos have come a ways to where they're more professional looking. I mean, and I can only imagine that as I continue to do more research and as I continue to get better equipment that they'll get even better. And so speaking of Amazon, um, one of the uh, examples that, um, the, that the Jeff Spencer gave us in the conference was that of Amazon. He was like, you know, you guys think about it. Amazon started off as um, you can buy books there, literally. Like you could just buy books on Amazon. That was it. And so he said that Jeff Bezos, I believe is his name, the owner of Amazon, he said that um, Jeff said one day, you will be able to buy anything on the Amazon marketplace, anything. And so here you look at this company that started off only selling books and now I'm an Amazon Prime member and I order off Amazon every week. I am not kidding. I am getting packages at my door every other day from Amazon. I'm like, you know, my friend was like, oh, I have this, my friend has this car charger and it charged my phone like really, really fast like that. And she's like, oh yeah, it's a 3.1, blah, blah, blah. I got it from Burlington for $4. So like I drive to Burlington to get one. They didn't have one. And I was in there like, I don't need to be in here getting this. I went on Amazon real quick and found me one for $5 and ordered it and got it in two days. Anything that you want. I got my new lights from Amazon. Anything that you need, you can order from Amazon. And not only that, I actually just went to another conference a few weeks ago and they were talking about how now Amazon is going to have it where you can go grocery shopping and you just go in the store. You don't even have to check out and somehow it'll scan all of your items that you put in your basket and it will charge you when you leave. So you talk about a gutsy goal. When Jeff Bezos said that he was going to create a place where you can buy everything in one place and he started from just selling books that was a true gutsy goal and that really really worked for him and then um another one of the things and I, I know i'm getting long-winded but this was a really good conference and this was a really good um concept but another thing he said was sometimes your gutsy goal it does not happen you don't ever get to see it happen but sometimes it'll happen after you after you're gone or you know and the example that he gave was Martin Luther King because Martin Luther King had a dream um, that we would all be able to have equality and you know live amongst each other and and so he didn't necessarily get a chance to see his I mean that was a gutsy goal for the times that that was his goal I mean he was really putting it out there and so now he didn't necessarily get an opportunity to see where we are today, but his gutsy goal lived on through something that he started and that gutsy goal came to pass. And so I just want to charge you guys um, right now to say, what is it that your gutsy goal is? I am going to meet Steve Harvey or Oprah Winfrey and someone's going to show them my videos and they're going to love me and they're going to ask me on their show. And before I know it, I'm going to have my own TV show. <laughs> That's my gutsy goal. And that is fine. You guys can all think it's crazy, but if that is my goal, I can tell you that um, even if I never end up there, the places that I will get to just by trying to get there will far surpass any other smaller goal if I would have set a smaller goal than that. So anyways, I'm sorry, you guys. I know that was a bit longer today, but I really hope that you guys got something from it. Um... It was very powerful for me. So no quote today, but hopefully you guys can take that back. And as usual, I would love for you to share this video with anyone that you think it might inspire or motivate. I want you guys to like my video, please. And if you could down below subscribe to my channel, that would be helpful. Um, paste my video on any of your social media. Help me with that because you guys know I don't do social media. I need to, I need to, but I'm just going to count on you guys to do it for me. So post it on social media for me. And again, Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all, and I will see you next week.